As Boot and Beal suggest, if you want to be an effective researcher, you need to be very familiar with the research that's already been done in your field of study. This video focuses on literature reviews that form part of a research proposal or a thesis or dissertation, although the same principles apply if you are writing a standalone literature review. So where and how do you begin reviewing the literature? A good way to start is to find out the authors in your field who are generally regarded as having made the most significant contributions. Another good beginning point is to read those studies regarded as landmark. In other words, studies with findings that have changed the way people think about your topic. If you don't know who these people or papers are, first contact a reference librarian and ask for help with keyword searches and appropriate databases. Of course, you can also ask your supervisor, but make sure you do some preliminary research. Then you'll have something to contribute to the conversation. Often this happens. Full of enthusiasm, you start reading and then... After a while, you stop and think to yourself, what's the purpose of doing a literature review? Well, there are plenty of good reasons. Here are some of them. Literature reviews are part of all research proposals. Reading the literature on your research topic will help you see the gaps in research already done and so help you find a place to situate your research. In other words, exploring the literature will help you come up with a rationale or a justification for why your topic is worthwhile researching. One feature of a good literature review is that it only focuses on relevant literature. Another thing to remember is that a good quality literature review starts with effective and thoughtful note-taking and note-making. You begin thinking critically about your topic once you start annotating what you read. That is, once you start questioning and thinking deeply about what you're reading. Your annotations may include contradictions you find in different authors' interpretations, questions that the articles have left unanswered, points you agree with or disagree with and think crucial to include in your review. You will need to read widely at first, but your literature review needs a very clear objective, as it will provide the reader with a clear indication of why and what you will be researching. Now you have an idea of why you're writing your literature review, you need to get clear about what to include. Here are a few ideas. A literature review is a critical review of the relevant literature or the literature relevant to your research topic. After reading a variety of texts on your topic, first summarise their pertinent aspects. The purpose of the summaries is to provide the reader with an entry point for your evaluation of those ideas. Next comes your evaluation or critical examination. This will include some or all of the following. Brief descriptions of particular theories and methods, comparisons and contrasts, which discuss the strengths and weaknesses of those theories and methods. Your review will mainly be reference paraphrases of the literature you are discussing. Only use quotes if they are crucial to making your point. Like most written work you do at uni, literature reviews begin with an introduction in which you first locate your research within its broader field. Next, you do some or all of the following. Establish your reasons for doing the review. Mention key researchers in the field. Identify key theoretical, methodological perspectives and or conflicts. Make the case for the importance of your research. 
state how the review will be organised. In the body of your review, your critical and evaluative thinking, in other words, your voice, becomes apparent. So first plan how you will organise your ideas. Here are some possibilities. Identify patterns or trends in authors' theoretical and or methodological approaches and critique them. Group authors who draw similar conclusions but make sure you comment on any disagreements there are, particular strengths and weaknesses of each author's work, and any questions left unanswered. In terms of structure, begin every paragraph with a topic sentence. That is, a sentence that captures the main idea you will develop in the paragraph. Discuss and analyse each idea in relation to your research topic using referenced explanations and examples. Conclude by making a linking comment to the next paragraph, if that's possible. So, to recap, in your literature review, include discussion and critical comment on previously published research. Identify the gaps in present research and what new avenues of research have been suggested. Identify what you will pursue. Don't include new ideas or information not already in the literature. That's what your research will investigate. You can get more study tips and advice on the Study Smarter website. Brought to you by UWA Student Services.